Hey guys, Kalila here and welcome to another video. There is someone cutting their grass, so you may hear it, you may not, but if you hear it, that's that's what that is. Anyway, it feels so weird filming because I haven't actually sat down and filmed a video in over a month since it's been over a month since I been home from Sweden and oh my gosh I wanted to take a break from filming I pushed I pre-edited so many videos like all of my Sweden and Denmark and Norway vlogs and those were just being pumped out scheduled I didn't have to do anything I haven't really done a sit down video like I said in over a month but I have been filming little vlog clips here and there, but no editing, no filming, no nothing. I've barely been knitting, okay? I just wanted to take a nice break and just chill. And now I have finished that break because I want to start filming and knitting and looking at yarn again, okay? The yarn that I've spread out right now from this trip, this is the yarn hell video. I mean, you know, because you saw the title. But I have not seen this yarn in over a month and I am just like getting so excited and so inspired just looking at these. I'm just like, oh my gosh. Also, I'm doing this video because I want it to be its own video because I will ramble on and on. I know that for a fact I'm a rambler, okay? Especially when I'm talking about something that I love, which is yarn. So this yarn will not be in my next podcast just assume that there will be no acquisition section of that video i will show my what do you call it i will show my mood bags my moot bags and all of the bags that i got there but there will be no yarn in that podcast but there will be a lot of projects okay a lot i have a lot of finished stuff but the yarn haul is going to be in this video okay so sit back and enjoy I will talk about what I'm wearing because I am wearing, because I am wearing knitwear, okay? It is the Stockholm Slipover V-neck by Petite Knit, and it was knitted by Alexandra from Alexandra's Garn. Of course, you guys know, I mean, Alexandra's Gone, okay, I'm sorry. I'm Swedish, I gotta say it right, okay? You know her because she was in the past seven videos that I put up, okay? She knitted this and she gave us a whole stack of knits and I've just been wearing them ever since we we came back from Sweden. Ugh, they're so comfortable and nice. But yeah, this is the I say Stockholm Super V-neck. Yes. Okay. So, I am going to go through all of the yarn that I got in Scandinavia. I'm going to start with Norway because that's where I got the least amount of yarn. Then I'm gonna do Denmark because that's the second. And then I will do Sweden because that is a whole bunch of yarn, okay? The most, the majority of my yarn came from Sweden, which as it should, you know? So let's start with what I got in Norway. Okay, it's also like 9 a.m. So if the lighting is a little off, I don't think it is, but if it's a little off, it's because the sunlight is not hitting yet because it's still morning like early morning anyway all right the first yarn that i got actually is from fru i will write it out on the screen because i will butcher most of these pronunciations but fru kvist i'll say fru vist okay maybe the k is silent i don't know and i got some yarn that i have not tried before oh my gosh Okay, be uh, plain. I got Tilia by Filcolana, and I got this yellow color because during my trip, I feel like I mainly got like blues, greens, browns, reds, white, grays, blue, green, brown, red, gray. <gasps> oh my gosh, that's because those are my favorite colors. I literally just named all five of my favorite yarn colors. And I was like, all right, Kalila. Pick something that you normally would not gravitate to, okay? And I was looking, I was like, mm, maybe it, no, not purple, it's close to blue. And I was like, maybe, no, that's green, oh, that's brown, no, nope, no, nope, that's blue, okay. So then I saw yellow. And I was like, ooh, 
Ooh, I don't really knit with yellow. That's weird, but yellow looks very good with my skin color. I mean, I feel like every color looks good with my skin color, but yellow, yeah. Okay, so I decided to get yellow. This mohair is so soft. Okay, it rivals Isagr. I say Isaya because I feel like that's like the Danish way of saying it, but Isagr is the Swedish way of saying it. And since I'm Swedish, I'll say Isagr, okay? Isagr, I got that mohair a cloud, okay? It should be impossible for a mohair to be that soft, okay? And I'm not picky about mohairs. I will literally use drops and wear it with no problem, okay? I know that people say it's scratchy. It is scratchier than the other mohairs. And knitting for olive is soft to me. Drops uh, is bearable. I don't, it doesn't annoy me. And so I've tried drops. I've tried knitting for olive. I've tried tin silk mohair from, mm, what's it called? Sudden is gone. What other mohair have I tried? I don't know. But I haven't tried this Orisager, which I'll get to later. But feeling this, I feel like this rivals it. Okay, this, this, this rivals it because it is so freaking soft. It is 70% kid mohair and 30% silk. Let me see this one. Oh, that's different. Okay. But yeah, 70, 30. I feel like that's typical. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. I got six of these mohairs because... I had pl I planned to make a sweater with it. The Moby sweater. That yarn is for the Moby sweater by Petite Knit. I'll put up a picture so you guys can see. At that time of getting this yarn, I had only planned to get the mohair because I was like, I can easily get a sweater's quantity of mohair because usually I get more mohair than needed, but I didn't know how many yards I would need for the regular strand, okay? And the regular strand, the yardage is more important the, the mohair you can just wing, okay? Whoa. And yeah, when I was in Norway, that's what I planned to do. I planned to come home and get the single, the, the thicker strand of it. And I, I got it in Sweden at the last yarn store we went to. So I will show you what I got after that. But yellow, is what I got and I planned to do the Moby sweater with it. At the time, the Moby sweater was not out so I was just guessing the yardage and uh, Alexandra was helping me base it off of the Ingrid sweater, which kind of has a similar yardage and similar yarn, you know, cause it's like a DK weight yarn with a mohair. So she was like, we could just base it off of that. And we did. So I got that from that yarn store. The next yarn store we went to, we trekked 45 plus minutes, probably 50 minutes to get there. And this yarn store is called Garntopia, or Garntopia, okay? And when we got there, at that point in the trip, I was not really looking for anything specific because I kind of had already gotten all of the yarns that I actually wanted. But then I saw a yarn brand of a yarn yeah, that I actually wanted to get and I didn't really see anything that I actually wanted from there, from that brand. But bro, it didn't matter. I was picking out yarn because we were not going to spend all that time walking to that store just to not get any yarn, you know? So I decided to get two hanks of this yarn from Hilholt Ulspinderi. And it is this pink yarn again. I was trying to get yarns that I do not usually gravitate to. Well, colors, not just yarns. Colors that I do not usually gravitate to. And this yarn here is one of them, okay? Pink, I'm not really a fan of pink. I don't mind pink, but I, do you see this pink? This pink is pink ang, okay? I don't even know if it shows the true color. I feel like right here it shows the true color. This is very pink, okay? And it is this brand. I do not know how to say this word, okay? It has letters that are not in English. You know, those two letters mixed together, yeah. I can't read the label because it is in Norwegian, but that's fine. The yardage is 200 meters 
per 100 grams. So this is DK? A DK weight yarn? Yeah, I think it's DK. But I got two because I was like, I can make something with it. I'm like, I can make like a top with it. But you know what? Ooh, maybe I can make a Sophie shawl with this. <gasps> wait, wait a second, because this yarn has, I have no plans for that yarn, honestly. But if I can make a Sophie shawl, I have to pull up the pattern, pull up the pattern. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Sophie shawl. Mm -hmm. Okay, the yarn she used. Let's see. How many, how many, how many? Okay, the small one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I won't have enough, but you know what? It's okay. No, wait. Yeah, 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 I can. Let's see, 100 grams. <gasps> no, I do have enough. Okay, she used 100 grams of that, which is two skeins. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Mm -mm. <gasps> oh my God, I have enough to make the smallest Sophie shawl. Yeah, you already know this is gonna be a Sophie shawl. Okay, I'm gonna make the small. <gasps> That's gonna be so cute. Oh my goodness. Hold on. I gotta pull up my notes app again Okay, okay, look at that. Look at that Sophie shawl small version, okay because the small uses 100 grams and the yarn she uses for that is 50 grams equals 150 meters that means she uses two skeins, which is 300 meters, and this is 400 meters. <laughs> which means I'll have 100 meters left, but that's fine because I'm saving all of my yarn that's left over, and I'm gonna make like this big scrap something. Sweater, blanket, shawl, who knows? But either way, this will be a nice Sophie shawl, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. I actually figured out something to use this for because I had no plans, honestly. I was just like, it's gonna be something. Can't be, can't be nothing. Gotta be something. Oh gosh, <laughs> that meme. All right, and that's all of the yarn that I got from Norway. So, now let's talk about the yarn that I got from Denmark. I went to three, three yarn stores there, and let me get the yarn so that I can show you, obviously. Okay, the first yarn store that I will talk about is Tontagon. I will put there, Tontagon, yeah. And I got two different yarns there. The first yarn I got was a yarn that is only available there. I don't know at that store, but only in Denmark. And it is a locally, a locally, mm, how do you say locally spun crafted yarn it's used with leftover yarns i believe and it's just like our leftover wools or something marie was explaining it to me and it's just like this local shop that spins this yarn and it's great to support so i wanted to support because you can only get it there and you can't get it anywhere else and i was just like i need it okay do it did i really really need it yes I did. It's called Mama Gone and Oud. Oud. Looks like this. And of course I got gray because I'm in love with gray, okay? And everything is in Danish, of course, so I cannot understand it, but it is 400 meters, 100 grams. So it is fingering weight yarn. And you know what I can do with this? I can literally make a tank top. I can make a tank top with this. I'll probably make like a June top or something with this. A June top? Yeah, I can make a June top light or a regular light i can make a june top light with this yarn imagine imagine yeah my my camera stopped recording okay imagine a tank top with this yarn okay just so beautiful 
Oh my goodness. And it's 100% wool, by the way. 100%. If you can read this. Oh my gosh. If you can read that right here, 100%. I feel like this is like 100% local, 100% breathe a hundred percent yeah i don't know okay that's that's the end of my danish so if you can read that let me know what it says okay thank you also the back if you can see that if it's clear i don't know if it's clear maybe maybe like that yeah anyway It's so nice. I'm so happy. Like seeing this makes me so happy and I'm so glad I got it because Marie recommended it and the memories associated with it. It's just, just beautiful. So the next yarn that I got from that store, I also got two bags from that store. I might as well show it here. Okay. I got this one from Tante Dawn. Okay. And she gave it to us for free. Like it was so nice of her to do that. And it's such a pretty little canvas bag i'm in love with these bags okay and i'm just so happy that i got this we were we were just obsessed with getting these bags okay and also i bought this bag from her kahila has like a green version and i actually wasn't gonna buy a bag from there she gave that to us for free and i and kahila had a green bag like this and i wasn't gonna buy one because i didn't see a color that i wanted and she pulled out more <gasps> they're just one of one so even if i like the one kahila had i couldn't get it because that's the only one and then she pulled this out oh my god yeah yeah look at that okay this literally looks like a bag that my grandma would make would make or have and i was just like I need it because this just screams crafter okay you're crappy and it's so cute and luxurious looking it was it's just nice okay and it was great because i had so much yarn to carry and that bag that bag that bag was perfect okay the next yarn that i got i've actually wanted because petite knit uses this a lot in her patterns and it is don't dansk pelsul eight and a half so pel sold eight and a half she uses this yarn a lot in her patterns and of course is not available in the united states okay so when we went to denmark i was like hell yeah i need this okay it is i got three skeins i was like you know what let me get three skeins i can make like a slip over blah 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 yeah i didn't realize this was this was fingering weight yarn Okay, I was just grabbing it. I was like, you know, three skeins should be enough for a slip over. Yeah, I thought it was like DK or worsted or something. I didn't actually look at the yarn itself. I just grabbed it. Okay, I saw the color and I was like, oh, no, I love my browns. Okay, this nice, deep, chocolatey brown. I was just like, yes, yes, I need it. And then Alexandra was like, you know, you can make a sweater out of this, right? And I was like, what? And I read it, 400 meters <laughs> per 100 grams. <laughs> I have 1,200 meters. <laughs> this is literally a sweater's quantity, okay? And I was like, oh, my plans just changed. Okay, they change. Currently, I'm working on the, oh my gosh, it just slipped my brain. Come on back, come on back, tip of the tongue, tip of the tongue phenomenon, okay. Cargill, oh, thank you. I'm working on a Cargill sweater and the yarn, the mohair that I'm using is brown. It's from Knitting for Olive, it's a brown mohair. And I'm like, hmm, I'm not gonna use all of the mohair. I have like eight skeins or something. Eight skeins of the mohair? Yeah, so I'll probably use like four skeins of the mohair, maybe five. And I'll have like three more, four more, four more, hopefully. And then I could pair it with this. Even if I need like a couple more, but I can pair it with this. What will I make? 
I have no clue, but I have 1200 yards and I did not mean to get a sweater quantity, but I did and I'm so happy that I did. Okay, I'm so excited. Oh, so many great memories coming from this. Listen, yarn just makes me so excited. And it was so nice supporting that shop. It was like such a small shop and it was so nice. She had such great yarns and she was showing us a new shipment of Isagra yarn that she got. She was like, let's look at the new color. She opened the box in front of us. She's like, look at, look at this color and that color. Like, aren't these nice? I'm just like, oh my gosh. I think they were excited because we're all young, right? Young people. The only other people who are in the store were like older people. And so when they saw us getting excited about the yarns and stuff, they got excited. Like, oh my gosh, like they act they're actually into this. Like, yes, we are. Okay, we're obsessed. Yeah, ah, that was great. Anyway, the next store we went to, we went to Knitting for Olive, okay? I have always wanted to go to Knitting for Olive. It's in Denmark, okay? I live in California in the U.S. I, I'm not going to be able to easily commute to Denmark. I mean, I did, obviously. But it's not something that we could just, you know, drive ride a train and just go straight to the Knitting for Olive store like a lot of people who live in the surrounding countries can, you know? So, so exciting. I actually did not have anything that I actually needed from there. Do you think I was going to go to the Knitting for Olive store and not buy something? Yeah. Oh my gosh, this yarn kind of matches my hair. Oh, by the way, new hair. <laughs> anyway. I got two skeins of this Bordeaux yarn. Kahila got this yarn and I was just like, you know what? Pass me some too. I'll get two skeins and I'm going to make a top out of this. A top? A, how do you say it? You know, those tank tops. What are they called? Mm, top. What does um my favorite things knitwear call them? Camisole. Huh. There we go. I'm going to make a camisole out of it. I have two skeins. That should be enough because I'm going to make the small anyway. So any one of her patterns I'm going to use and make a camisole out of this yarn. I'm so excited. It's Knitting for Olive Merino, by the way. I'm sure mm, every single one of you guys are aware of this store and they're in your right. They're beautiful, beautiful yarns. But yeah, I will make a camisole out of this yarn and it's going to be great. These are the only two skeins that I got because like I said, I didn't really need anything, but I wanted to support the shop anyway. The next yarn store and the last yarn store we went to is called Brunstrik. Of course, I'll write it on the screen. And I got two different yarns there. I... That's the store Kahila and Alexandra got their fat mohair from. And I was just like, you know, let me just look around, look for stuff that I wanted to get something that I wouldn't usually look at. And I was really thinking of camisoles, tank tops, that type of thing. So then I saw, you know, Sis Lady Get gone. All right. And I got this yarn right here. Look at the shine on this beauty. Of course, I wanted to get a color that I don't usually get, okay? And this is called Coral Coral Cure. And it is 100% grade A mulberry silk. And it is 400 meters, 100 grams. So this is 100% enough for some sort of camisole. My camera is about to die. But I'll continue talking because this yarn is so pretty. This will look so nice on me. But I don't know what camisole I would do because I will have to shorten it because I only have 400 meters. But also, maybe I could do a June top and just like cut it short. But then I don't want a June top. I will see. Okay, I will see what I want to make with this. I know it'll be a camisole of some sort. But just cut short. But we'll just have to see. This is so soft. Like just putting it against my skin. Oh, maybe I can do one of Naked Knits knits. 
Oh my gosh, hold on. This camera will die while I'm searching this up, so that's perfect timing. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Okay, naked knit. Because I have a bunch of their pa their patterns. Oh my gosh, I could make one of their bralettes. Hmm. It's not dead yet? That's weird. Okay. Look, 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 look. Oh, but isn't it with light yarn? And this is fingering. Ooh, this will be too big for it. Okay, you know what? Camisole. Look up a camisole. All right. Camisole. Hmm, let's see this one. Hmm, this one. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, found it. Okay. Let's see, is this one the top? Top down? Please be top down. <gasps> yes, top down. Yes, okay. Found it. I'm surprised this hasn't died yet. It'll probably die soon then. I will do the camisole number four with this, okay? Because it's top down. And also, the small uses... Oh, it uses pure silk. Perfect. The small... Wait. Most of them. Not just the small. Okay. They use 100 grams of pure silk by Knitting for Olive. And that means that's 500 meters total. And this is 400 meters. So I just don't have to use the last 100 meters. You know, I'll just literally crop it. <gasps> that's going to be so pretty. Okay. I'm excited. All right. Camisole number four. It is. This is going to be beautiful. Heck yeah. Found it. Camisole number four, but a little cropped, and I love cropped stuff anyway, so that's not going to be a problem. All right, the next yarn. Hold on, I gotta pull up my notes app again. The next yarn that I got from that store, so I got this pure silk yarn, and I also got another luxurious yarn that I just saw hanging up, okay? I got all of the colors that were available of this, which four skeins of this color. Yeah, I mean, come on. I had to get this in a color that I love, you know, and I love rusty colors. Okay. This is just, it finally died. All right. I need some lip stuff. Okay. Like I was saying in the same store, I got this yarn. What is this yarn? You may say. I mean, ask. Whatever. It is Gepard Cashmere Lace. Yup. Yes, it is. This beautiful, beautiful yarn. Oh my gosh. I've always wanted to try cashmere yarn. I say that but the yarn that I'm using right now has cashmere in it, but it's just a little bit, okay? It's just a little bit. It's lamb's wool and cashmere. It's biche bouche. Cashmere and lamb's wool blend, but I wanted 100%, okay? This is 100% pure cashmere, okay? It is... Let me read, let me read, let me read. 25 grams and has 350 meters. 350 meters okay and surprisingly it uses three to three and a half millimeter needles with a single strand single strand and it uses three to four millimeter double stranded so <laughs> at first when i first got it i was like yeah i can make a mm, i can make what do you call it a, a camisole or something double strand it and then i was like hmm actually i can make a cumulus top okay because i have been loving the way the cumulus top looks okay i have been planning i have so many cumulus tea cumulus top cumulus tea 
I keep saying top. Cumulus T. I have so many cumulus. Okay, I'm sorry. I cannot be wrong. I have to see. I have to look it up because I can't just keep talking and feeling wrong. Okay. I think it's cumulus T though. Cumulus, because I think cumulus top is like the actual tank top. Okay. Yes. Cumulus T. Whew. Okay. Let me look at this. Okay, yes. The Cumulus T by Petite Knit. I have been eyeing that. And when I was in, when I was in Sweden, I was like, you know what? That's kind of what I want to look for. I want to look for yarns for the Cumulus T. And when I got this, I actually planned to do a... This is so thin. I'm sorry, I just got sidetracked, but look at how thin this is. It's lace weight, so it's very thin. But I'm gonna do a cumulus tee, okay? It's probably gonna be very airy. It's probably gonna be very flowy, but I don't care, okay? It's gonna be great. I'm gonna make the size small because if I make the size medium, I probably won't have enough yarn. And also, I don't want those tops to be very big. I want them to actually fit me like very, this has a lot of ease, but I want it to fit me like, you know, like this, just like a, uh, against me. Very, very, mm, not very negative ease, but negative ease or less ease, like one to two inches. I don't know. Not a lot of positive ease anyway. And this will give me that. Will I have enough? Maybe. Maybe not. But we'll see. This will definitely be a cumulus tea though. Imagine. Can we just sit back and imagine how soft this cumulus tea will be? This is 100% pure cashmere, okay? No blend, no nothing, just cashmere, okay? 350 meters for each one of these. So that's what... Three, six, nine, twelve, then there's fifty, fifty, that's hundreds, three hundred, da, da. so what, fourteen hundred meters? Did I do that math correctly? I don't know. Let's see, three fifty times four. Oh my gosh, I'm a mathematician? Yeah, fourteen hundred meters of lace weight yarn. So soft, so beautiful. Oh, but. This is not the only cashmere that I got, okay? I got another cashmere, but you'll see. You'll see in later in this video, okay? Okay. Anyway, let me just stuff these in here. <sighs> when will I work on these? I don't know. Probably in the springtime. I say that, but it'll probably be early winterish time. So maybe, maybe in December I will start on one. But I'm not gonna start on that cumulus tea. I'm gonna do something else and I'll show you what it will be. Okay, now that is all for Norway and Denmark. So now to Sweden, okay, where I got most of my yarn, a chunk of the beauty, okay? The first yarn that I got there, the same day that we landed, we went to this yarn store and I had to yank it out of my yarn stash because I've already finished a project with this yarn and I'll show you the yarn you already know I did the chunky dahlia and this is the yarn that I got for the chunky dahlia this is so this is just the leftover I, I had to pull out you know fresh skeins and I didn't want to show you used skeins so the first yarn that I got there is Coos yeah the first yarn I got was Kus by Send This Gone. It is this beautiful, beautiful blown yarn. A lot of people substitute mm, the drops air for it. They substitute, what is that yarn that starts with a C? Malika got some. I forgot what it's called, but it is this nice blown yarn. And of course I got green, okay? Now my hair is red, green just goes so nicely with that. I mean, it's still, it's still a little red, okay? But this yarn is 62% baby alpaca, 9% wool, and 29% nylon. 
It is so freaking soft and I love the color. I don't know what the color is. Eight, five, eight, one. And I got Tin Silk Mohair by Sun This Gone because I love matching the yarn brands together. You know, it's just, like if I'm using drops, I'll use, I wanna use drops with it. You know, if it's drops, it drops, it's Sun This Gone, Sun This Gone. And this yarn is 57% mohair, 28% silk, and 15% wool. This is just such a, oh wait, how many yarns? This has, this is 50 grams and it has 150 meters. And this is 25 grams and it has 212 meters. And it's this color here. And I was like, I want it to match. And it matched so nicely. I have not taken pictures in my Chunky Dahlia yet. When I do, I will show a picture. If I have, by the time this video goes up, Here's the picture. If not, you'll just see the blank wall, okay? But these are the first yarns that I got. I got Sweaters Clonby. Obviously, I don't have it anymore because it's now a sweater, but I was so excited getting this. I got this from Knit and Pearl. So this is in Sweden. I'll put the, the words down there. From Knit and Pearl. And of course, I had to get green, okay? So let's put this over here. Let's actually put it in this bag here. <laughs> All right, the next yarn that I got, I got from Stickin' Nolan. Nolan? 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 And it'll be there. The yarn that I got from there, I cannot hold up because I got 12 skeins of it. Listen, everyone has warned me against this yarn. And for me, I don't like that because just because a yarn, it feels a certain way to other people does not mean it will feel that way to me. So I feel like deterring me from a yarn is not fair to me because I haven't tried it. Okay, like you can give an opinion on yarn, but don't give it as if you're trying to stop me from getting that yarn. What is that yarn, you may ask? Well, this yarn is Let's Lopi by Istex. And I got this grayish dark yarn. It's like a dark, it's a very, very dark heathered gr gray. It's not black. It's not black at all. It is very, very dark gray. It is 100% wool. 50 grams is 100 meters, which is DK. Yeah, it's 109 yards. Or is it worsted? I feel like it's worsted. I think it's worsted. <laughs> 109 yards for 50 grams. No, no. No, it's DK because it's 50 grams, so two would be 200 meters. Yeah, so this is a DK weight yarn, I guess. And, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So my plan for this was to make a zipper sweater. Ooh, 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 ooh. Actually, I have to look because it's giving me worsted vibes. Let loopy yarn. But it could be DK. It, the, it, I'm thinking it's DK because it'll be 200 something yarn. Okay, it says worsted. Okay, so it is worsted. My first thought was correct. Okay, it is worsted weight. And so I had, I had the reaction like, oh my gosh, because I just remembered that Petite Knit is coming out with the zip sweater. No. Brain. Zipper sweater light, which is going to be a DK weight one. Ooh, I'm so excited. But I'm going to use this yarn for the regular zipper sweater. Come on. I got 12 skeins of this, by the way, because I didn't know how much I would need. So I was like, let me get 12 skeins. Which is 1200 meters. And how much is the zipper sweater? I did all these calculations in Sweden, but right now I do not remember. Zipper sweater. Okay. Okay. I will probably do like the medium. And so the zipper sweater is 
held with a DK weight yarn is a DK weight yarn held with mohair, which is why I was like, oh, this would be perfect because that will, that's worsted and this will be worsted. And let me see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's designed to have 13 and three quarter inches of positive ease. Yeah, I'm doing the medium, okay? Even though the extra small would give me the 13 inches of positive ease, I still want to do the medium because I want to drown in it. Mm, let's see. What am I looking for? Oh, okay. I'm looking for the yardage for the yarns. Mm, let's see. The medium is 550 grams. Like that. 550 grams, 50, that's 11 times. Oh my gosh, 1100 yards. And I have 1200, ah, that is so perfect. Okay, so yes, this will be the zipper sweater by Petite Knit. This yarn, people warn others against this yarn because it is so, so, so rustic. This is like the most rustic yarn on the face of the planet. But for me, I love to feel the fibers on my skin. I love, okay, my hair is like, oh, uh, is this yarn? I think it's my hair. I love to feel, like, I want to feel the scratchiness. I want to feel this on me because it will feel so handmade to me. That's why I love rustic yarns. I have not used a lot of rustic yarns. I don't even think I have used a rustic yarn. But anytime I feel them, I'm just like, bro, I love it. It, it reminds me of having mohair on my skin. And I feel... I feel like I should say my skin is sensitive because I had eczema all of my life, but I don't feel like my skin is sensitive in a way where yarn like this will irritate it. Like it's sensitive, but it doesn't get irritated easily. If that makes sense. So if that makes sense. Yeah. Anyway, I got this and I'm so excited. I didn't get the plotaloopy. I was like, I'm not really a fan of single ply yarn. I I don't I wouldn't mind trying it. Of course, I will try it someday, but the thought of using it is just like I don't want to. <laughs> At least not right now. But I got 12 skeins of this. This is for the zipper sweater. But yeah, like I was saying before, I don't like when people try to deter others from getting a certain yarn that they could love just because a bunch of people think it's scratchy or think it's this, like, okay, yeah, it's scratchy and okay, yeah, it's scratchy is this as rustic as blah, blah, blah. Thanks, but that's not going to deter me from using it. But you can say like, oh yeah, that yarn, that's a very nice rustic yarn. You can't, you don't say, oh, it's scratchy, you know, maybe you might not. Yeah, I don't like when people try to give opinions as if it will be my opinion. I don't mind opinions as long as it's not trying to deter me from something or stop me from doing something or using something that I haven't even tried before, you know? Anyway, the next yarn, mm, the next yarn store that we went to was a very nice, beautiful local yarn shop. And it is Honse from Honse Designs on Instagram. I didn't even know she owned a yarn shop, okay? Like, huh? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I didn't even know she was Swedish. She literally sounds like she's from California. Her English accent, English, oh my gosh, what am I? Her American accent is literally a Californian accent. There is no Swedish accent in there at all. If you hear her speak English, you will, you will not think she's from Sweden. Okay. Crazy. But she dyes yarn. She's an indie dyer. And I was, just, the yarns that she had, I had already gotten, but I was just like, let me get some of her yarn. Okay. I can't get this anywhere else. So I got these two yarns. Oh my gosh. This is so bright. 
Okay, there we go. I got these two yarns. <laughs> so freaking pretty. Okay, what am I gonna use it for? I don't know. I got two so that I could potentially mix them together and make a camisole of some sort. And it'll be so nice. Oh, <gasps> you know, it'll be so nice with this. Maybe like the camisole number six with the thick ribbing and use these and just like alternate it between however many rounds every so often. So this is 50% merino wool, 50% silk, non superwash. Okay. Bro, when I saw it, I knew it had silk in it because I was just like, this is shiny, shiny and beautiful and nice. Okay. And oh my gosh, it may not look like it here. But when in a shop compared to the others, this was so shiny and so, so pretty. And I'm not a fan of variegated yarns, but when yarns have thick color blocking like this, oh, oh, I eat that up, okay. But yeah, I can alternate the skeins like every 10 rounds or so, you know, I use. Or maybe I could do a June top with this. Hmm. Hmm. Mm. Mm. so many things I can do with this I have no exact plans for this yet but I think when I need a project where I just chill then I will pull these out this is the color amped up it is 100 grams 400 meters so I have 800 meters of this and this is called maxed out so this is amped up and maxed out and this is by Hunt. Honse, Honse of Honse Designs. And it's so beautiful. Of course, I had to get something with blue in it, you know? And I was just like, I need it. I need it. I need it. Now, the next yarn store we went to was, is it Janko or Yanko? 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 Janko? Yanko? I'll say Yanko. Yanko. Okay, it's not Spanish. Gosh. Okay, anyway, we went to this other beautiful, beautiful yarn shop. And they had like this knitting group. They're outside just knitting together. It was so cute. It was just like a bunch of older women just sitting together, talking, knitting. And we came in, they were so nice. And I was just looking around. I wasn't really gonna get anything or I think I was just gonna browse and maybe get something that I was familiar with. And then I went to this one section. I think this is my favorite yarn that I got over there in Sweden. Oh my gosh. I just, I can't show you just yet because I'm just imagining being there and seeing this yarn. And when I felt it, felt it, and when I felt it, I was in heaven. Okay. So first when I saw it, I was like, oh, oh, blue. Okay. Of course. Of course, I saw it and I, I said blue. Blue, immediately. Oh my gosh, blue, my favorite color ever on the face of the planet. And look at the different blues in it. Okay, let's get up close. And what really made me fall in love with it even more was the fact that it's single ply. Okay, look at this beauty. Okay, don't look at my nails, they're ugly right now. I'm gonna get them done like this week. Oh my gosh, okay. This is, this is Manos del Uruguay, okay? It is called Marina. And it is a superwash yarn. It is 100% superwash merino. What the heck? This does not feel like one ounce of superwash at all. When you feel how, mm, oh my gosh, okay? This is approximately 874 yards or 800 meters. It's a hundred gram skein. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is 874 yards. Okay, this is a lace weight. And, oh my, I'm sorry. I, okay, let me keep talking about it. So Manos del Ur Uruguay, the Hands of Uruguay is a nonprofit organization which assembles women in co Hey. My camera ran out of space to film, period. Like what happened in Sweden if you watch the vlog. And so I had to 
get out my laptop and charge it up because it was dead because now I have a desktop so I don't use my laptop anymore but now I use it to edit but I haven't used it to edit yet so I had to charge it and then plug in all the things, take out my camera, take out the thing, you know, transfer clips, delete stuff and now we're back. Okay. The last thing I was doing was reading about Manos del Uruguay. Okay, so let's do that. Manos del Uruguay, the Hands of Uruguay, is a non-profit organization which assembles women in cooperatives throughout the countryside of Uruguay. The aim of the organization is to bring economic and social opportunities to rural women. And it says, we are proud members of the World Trade Organization. We recommend buying enough yarn to complete a project to give the... Okay, yeah, that doesn't matter. But it gives the location and also the person who did the skein. And it is Laura or Laura. And this is just so nice because I felt even better. Oh, also, I got two skeins. By the way, I didn't say that, but I got two skeins. And... I want to make a cumulus tea with this. Now this is fingering weight yarn. Oh, I lied. <laughs> this is lace weight yarn, okay? It is very, very thin, but also since a single ply, it's so squishy. Like, look at that squish. Look at that squish. Oh my gosh. And look at how drapey it is the drape yeah so i got two skeins and i felt so good buying this yarn because i'm supporting the people who are actually creating this in uruguay so i'm just like i cannot wait so this right here okay this right here will be the first cumulus tea that i do because i cannot wait oh the skein is unraveling i cannot wait to wear this okay like this is one project that i actually want to wear i mean of course i want to wear all of my projects but this is one project that i'm excited for the end result usually i'm just like yeah i love the process of it yada yada but no i want to actually wear this i want to feel this on my skin oh i thought someone was coming in here i want to feel this on my skin and it's so soft it feels like cashmere that's why I was so surprised that it was 100% superwash merino because this feels like cashmere. I wish you could just feel it through the screen, but for now you'll just have to look at the beauty. Mm, I love this so much. All right, next up, let's see. Ooh, the next yarns that I got is actually from 60 Gone Nord, which is where Alexandra works. So let me get all the yarns and I'll show you. Okay, so from 60 Gone Nord, I got... It's still in the packet, but I'll show you what it is, okay? It is Knitting for Olive. Now, when we got to that store, because it's where Alexandra works and we want to su support Anna, the owner, so much. We we got our mood bags from there. So both of our mood bags and then all of this yarn. So the first thing I got was Knitting for Olive Compatible Cashmere. Okay. This is my first time ever. Okay. Can you focus, please? Thank you. This is my first time ever getting this yarn. And it'll be my first time ever using this yarn. And what am I going to use this for? This is lace weight. Yes, I'm going to use it for another cumulus tea. Okay, I want all of these beautiful, soft cashmere yarns to be a cumulus tea. It will be very airy. Every single one of the ones that I'm making with the cashmere yarns and the, the Uruguay yarn, Manos del Uruguay yarn, I'm going to use to make a cumulus tea and they will all be airy because all of them are lace weight, but I don't care. I just want to have a very flowy, flowy t-shirt. Like I always say, I live in a very, very hot part of California and I can't always wear my sweaters unless I'm inside 
because it's always hot. And when I start going out, I want to be able to comfortably wear my knits. So I want a bunch of tees and this right here will be so airy, so nice, so comfortable. I have five skeins of these. And my original thought was to make a, what is it called? Camisole. I keep forgetting the name of that. I wanted to make a camisole, but then I just became obsessed with the cumulus tea because I'm just like, imagine how many versions I can make. And it's something that I can wear all the time, anywhere. I can dress it up. I can dress it down. So I'm just like, and then I love, <laughs> I'm so obsessed with tiny, tiny yarns. So the fact that this is lace weight and I can use like three millimeter needle with it, it's just like, and then the cumulus tea is made with three millimeter needles. I'm just like, yes, okay. So this is 100% cashmere and the color is Dusty Dove Blue. You already know, I have to get blue because I freaking love blue, okay. So that is one of the yarns that I got there. I also picked up two skeins of 60 Gunna Nold yarn. So it's yarn that is literally produced for the shop itself. And it's this beautiful, beautiful gray yarn. Oh, it is, oh shoot, this is in Swedish. <laughs> it is 190 meters per 100 grams. So this is a, oh my gosh, this smells so sheepy. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Is it a hundred grams? I don't know if it's a hundred grams. I can't see. Okay. Alexandra, help me out here. Okay. Let me move my face so you can see it. I don't know if it's a hundred grams or if it's 50 grams, but either way, it's 190 meters. And that's, that, that's what I know. With this, I didn't know what I was gonna make with it. I just, I just bought it, okay? So I'll probably do another Sophie shawl with this. Let's see, 190, 190. How much was the pink one? The pink yarn? What was that? 200 meters? So I should have enough for the small Sophie shawl with this as well. Cause I only have two skeins. Listen, I just wanted to get the yarn just because I wanted the yarn and that was it. So I believe this is a DK weight yarn and yeah, I can use it to make a silky shawl. And it feels so nice. It's hundred percent wool, of course. And oh, it's just so nice. Pulse wool. I don't know what, what kind of wool that is, but the next yarn that I got from this shop mm -mm -mm, is this one right here, it is called Cumbria, Cumbria yarn. And I think that's the only place you can, you can actually get this yarn. So it felt extra special getting it. And it is another gray color. Listen, if there's one neutral that I'll always get, it's gray, okay? Because I am obsessed with gray. It is just such a good color, okay? And it's such a nice step from like cream. Cause you know, cream, I feel like cream is a color that most people use to really show off texture and everything. But I don't like cream or white or any of those tannish colors, but gray, gray, yeah. Okay, gray and a light brown. Yeah, those will be the two neutrals that I will always get. And I got this to make the Ingrid slipover. Alexandra actually made an Ingrid slipover using this exact yarn. And I was like, all right, give it to me. I want to make it using this. So I'm excited to actually dive into doing that structured knit because I was going to do the Moby sweater, but Alexandra was like, you know, if you want the best experience maybe try out the ingrid stuff first before you do the moby sweater because then the moby sweater might be a little confusing so i was like perfect i don't mind at all so i'll do the ingrid slip over and then i'll do the ingrid sweater and then i'll do the moby sweater so i won't get to these until like next year maybe i'll get to the ingrid slip over later this year but it also depends because i may just hop straight into my cumulus tees so 
I have no clue, but I know that this will be an Ingrid slipover. This will probably be a Sophie shawl, and this will be a Cumulus tee. And those are all the yarns that I got from the shop. All right, what is next? Oh, the next yarn that I got is from Gone Gladia. I will put it here and let me get the yarn. <laughs> okay. The yarn that I got is a yarn that I have been wanting to get for a year now, okay? Everyone talks about it. Everyone's like, oh my gosh, it's so nice. And also Petite Knit uses this yarn a lot, okay? Especially this specific one. What is it? It is Isagur or Isaya Svini, okay? This one right here. Okay, you can't see. This one right here the fingering weight version okay it is 100 percent natural wool and i can't read anything else so that is fine it is around 510 meters per 100 grams and the lady who owns it actually asked if i wanted it split because she's like you know this is this is a lot and i'm like no 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 it's fine because i'm buying another one also, these are the same colors with different dye lots. You can definitely see a major difference in the dye lot. Well, or maybe not. I can, but it's, it's very slight. This one is a little lighter. But as you guys know, I don't care. And I do not alternate skeins, so I do not care. I didn't realize two of these will be a sweater's quantity, but this is 510 meters, so 510 and 510, that's what... 1,020 yards, 1,020 meters actually. Yeah, 1,020 meters, which is a sweater quantity, which is so great. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna make with this. I have no clue. Oh, also at that Gone Gladia store, I also got, <sighs> guys, 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 I got, Isagur mohair. Oh my gosh. Mm. Oh my gosh. I'm so, 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 so excited. Do you see? Look at this. Look at this. Okay. Please clear up so you can see. Get clear. Look at, look at how beautiful this is. It is so soft. Look at how squishy, how squishy it is. This is... I can confirm because you know so many people have said it but this is the softest mohair i have ever felt okay ever and i felt a lot of mohairs all right but on feeling alone this is so soft it is 75 percent kid mohair 25 percent silk and it has 25 grams of course that's 212 meters which is a typical a typical meterage for this I got this to, to pair with this and I didn't want it to be too close, but also not too far from each other. But this is what I'm pairing this with. I'm so excited. But the only yarn that I feel like can rival this is Tilia by Phil Colana because that is extremely soft as well. Let me see if I can grab that actual. Where is it? Right here. Oh my, oh my, oh my gosh. Yeah, this, this is definitely so much softer, but this is also very soft, but this is softer than this. And this is extremely soft. So the fact that they got this to be this soft, I don't know what they're doing in their production, magic. Because what the heck, how? But if you want a, I don't think this is that much more than this, honestly. I think they're around the same price, to be honest. So if you want to try this, same price, I believe. But yeah, actually, I need to keep this here because I, when the next yarn I show you pairs with that. But these are the yarns that I got. I have no clue what I'm going to do with this Isagur yarn, but I'm so excited to try it out. And so excited to make something with it. It's gonna be so special because this is yarn I've been wanting for so long. Like I specifically knew this is exactly what I wanted. I'm just putting the yarn up. 
This is exactly what I wanted. I didn't know what color, but of course it was gonna be a color that I love, okay? It had to be. I was not, I was not going outside of my realm, okay, of favorite colors when it came to this yarn. So the next store, or the last store that we went to was Lila Gon Boutiquen. Yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that, so I'll put it here. The camera's about to die, but I'm gonna get the yarn and show you guys. I mean, it's not about to die, it's just about to end because it films for like 16 minutes and- Okay, okay. I know I've been filming for a while because this battery is getting close to dying too. But it didn't die, it just- For some reason, the camera films for like almost 17 minutes and then just stops filming. Anyway, the yarn that I got from this yarn shop is Pernilla by Phil Colana. This is my first time getting Phil Colana, so this yarn and the mohair that I got, first time. So I had planned, like I said, when I got this mohair in Norway, I had planned to get like some drops yarn. I think I was gonna get drops Lima because I can easily get it shipped or whatever. But then we went to this store, this is the last yarn store we went to and I was just like, you know what? Let me just get Pernilla, okay? I, because I wasn't sure how much yarn I would need and I didn't want to buy yarn there and then not have enough and I was just like You know, so but then I was just like, you know what? Who cares? I got eight skeins of these How many skeins did I give this? I think I got eight skeins. Of this. I don't know. I got eight skeins of this yarn Pernilla and it is a DK weight yarn. It is a hundred percent 100% Peruvian Highland wool. And it is surprisingly soft. I didn't expect it to be soft because it's Peruvian Highland wool and I thought it would be a little scratchy, but it actually feels really, really good. And I see, um, I see Laura use this a lot. Laura from Penrose Knits. She uses this yarn a lot and it has such beautiful, it creates such a beautiful stitch definition. And I was like, okay, fine. You know, the Moby sweater is not out, but I went based on the yardage of the Ingrid sweater and I actually have enough yarn. So I got eight skeins of it and I have enough to make a medium because I wanted to make a medium. I knew this, I knew this sweater would have a lot of positive ease. And I was like, I want it to be huge, so I want to be able to make the medium so that it could be very big on me. And it is going to be, and I'm so excited, I'm so happy. Anyway, but these are the yarns that will be for my Moby sweater. And I'm so glad I got both Phil Colana, so I will have my thoughts on the yarns after. This kind of feels like Drops Lima, except Drops Lima has alpaca in it and it's so way softer, but at least I know that if I need to substitute Pernilla or any yarn that's like a DK type of vibe, I can get Drops Lima. I freaking love Drops Lima. I'm obsessed. It's so soft and so nice, but that is what I got. So that's, this will be a Moby sweater and I have enough yarn for the medium. So I'm so, so happy about that. So let me put this up. Now the last yarns that I have is not from a yarn store or I didn't buy it myself. It's actually a birthday present from Alexandra. You guys would have seen it probably already, but she got us, Kehila and I, yarn and a little project bag and, okay, for our birthday. And the first yarn she got me is this Noro yarn. It's Silk Garden Sock Solo. It is the yarn that is used for the Terrazzo sweater, I believe. And I haven't tried this before, so I'm so excited to try it. I will probably make socks out of it, maybe. Or maybe I'll do like a top out of it. It has 300 meters. So maybe I'll do like a, a June top with it. That will be cool. Yes, yeah, 100 grams, 300 meters. It's 40% wool, 25% silk, 25% polyamide, and 10% mohair. Oh, I can't wait to use it. I don't know when I'm going to use it because this has to be very special, okay? And I kind of want a top just so that I can like wear it all the time because I'm not going to wear my socks all the time because I wouldn't want to mess it up. So a top will be 
very, very nice to do. Now the next yarn she got me is a yarn that I have been wanting to try for so long, okay? And it is Regia Tweed, okay? This is a sock yarn and I have been wanting to make socks using this yarn since I see so many people making socks using this yarn, especially Tiffany, she's used this yarn to make socks and I was just like, I need that. Okay, need, I need that. And the fact that Alexandra got it, oh gosh, I'm so excited. I haven't knitted socks in so long, it seems. And I'm ready to make some more. Like seeing this right here, Oh, I may just, I may just cast it on. I may just cast it on. Oh, also, she also gave me needles. A needle, a sock needle, the Addy needle with like one side is longer than the other and it's 2.5. So I will definitely try that out as well. I'll probably try it out with different socks, but for this, I got to use my 2.25 because this has to be perfect. You know, it has to be my perfect sock, be birthday socks. It is, what? Okay, what is this? I'm trying to see the meterage. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's telling me that if I'm making socks, I need around 100 grams. If I'm making a sweater, I need around 500 grams. Okay, okay, I was like, what? This is around 400 meters, 100 grams, or 438 yards. Oh my gosh, this is perfect for a pair of socks. I don't usually use 430 yards the entire 430 yards anyway. So that is exciting. It is 70% wool, 25% polyamide, and 5% viscose. Oh, this is a German yarn. It says Schachenmeyer. Schachenmeyer. Sch Sch <laughs> I don't know. But this, this, this yarn, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm so tempted to cast this on right now. You know what? Why not? Why not? Right after this video, I'm casting this on. You'll see me cast it on in the vlog that I'm filming right now. It's just a random vlog with random projects. I'm, I'm working on like two projects right now. I'm working on a Sophie shawl and a Cargill sweater. And I what? I'm just gonna make a pair of socks. Oh my gosh. This is literally making my knitting mojo skyrocket. Like I am ready to knit, okay? Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me see if, if I can like pull from the middle, maybe from the top. I, I, I have to be prepared, okay? Let's, let's see from here. <laughs> nope, okay, maybe from here. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't pull from the middle. Hold on, hold on guys, hold on. Okay, you have to see me, you have to, okay, my fingers are touching, nice. You have to see me succeed in this, okay? Okay, you know what? I'm just taking out the whole yarn bar. It's, it's fine, it's fine. I, I don't mind, okay? This is what I do. I literally take out the entire yarn barf thingy and I'll just stuff it back in. I'll like go like this, boom, stuff. Take some, <laughs> like that, stuff it. See, I don't mind yarn barf. That doesn't bother me. I mean, also, I de untangle yarn all the time, and that doesn't bother me. Anyway, I will continue doing this, and then I will come back and end off the video. Give last thoughts and all of that, okay? <laughs> I did it. Now I have a center pool. Yeah, I, I, I have to start this sock now. Like... The urge, you know when you get an urge to cast something on? Yeah, that urge is with me right now, okay? Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. This has been, my camera's dying. This has been such a great recapping and like resurfacing of everything that I did in Sweden and Denmark and Norway and getting all of the yarn. I can't wait to go to Sweden next year. Next year will be more about just enjoying the atmosphere. It'll be less knitting content and more just enjoying the time there because we're gonna go there for midsummer and it's gonna be such an amazing time. But anyway, I can't wait to show you guys all what I'm gonna... Okay, battery died. Yeah, I couldn't make it. Anyway, I can't wait to show you guys what I make with all of this yarn and I can't wait to see 
when I'll, when I'll use it, first of all, because it's definitely not going to be until later next year, probably the second half of next year, because I still have so much yarn that I want to use and get rid of. Not get rid of, but like see turn into projects for like the first half of next year. Wait, actually, some of them I will use because Kahila and I, well, Kahila came up with this goal for the first half of the year and I want to do it too. It's like a challenge, okay? Like a six month challenge. So I'm excited for that. Anyway, I can't wait to see how all of these turn out. I can't wait to see if I change my mind on some things and turn it into something else. I'm excited to cast this on literally right after this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in to all of my vlogs of me being in Sweden with my sisters and Alexandra. Like, that, that means so much. And I can't wait to do another trip to show you guys what happens there because it's so fun vlogging and so fun going back and reliving the experience and you know people say live in a moment but I live in a moment with my camera and I love that because then I get to actually go back and watch the memories instead of just having it in my head anyway I'll see you guys next time Tell me if you guys have used any of these yarns that I got. Let me know what your favorite is. Let me know what you've made with it. Also, let me know what yarns you saw that I gotten that you want to get as well and what you want to make with those. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye.